Greetings and welcome to Chapter 8 of the AES Direct video webinar series. In this chapter, I will cover the Template Manager and the Profile Manager. So on our previously canceled shipment, if we have information that's going to be useful to us for future shipments, let's say our company contact information, if, that, if you know that's not going to change, you can then click this Save to Profile button. You'll be asked to provide a profile name. And then for future shipments, where it says Save to Profile, you'll also have a Load from Profile option that you can select, and all of this information here will pre-populate. Another button I'll call your attention to is the Save as Template button. Now if we want to use this for future shipments as a template, we can simply collect, click Save as Template and provide a template name. template description. And then once you save that information, you can then put it to use for future shipments, which I'll show you in a moment. I also want to mention that since this shipment has been canceled, I can still go in and use that information. So if you cancel a shipment accidentally, you can still go in and add that to a profile or template, and that can save you some time. So now I'll show you how to use the saved profiles and templates. So you'll notice in the upper right hand corner of your screen, the load from load from profile button. You select that, and then scroll down, and select your saved profile, and click Load Profile. All of that information will then populate. We can clear this information by selecting Clear US PPI. And then if you want to create a shipment from a template, you can go to your template manager. And you'll notice all of the saved templates in the system. And you'll have this green create export filing button. What you want to do next to the template that you need to use is select Create EEI. And that will populate the system with most of the information that you provided. Please note that you'll still have to provide a shipment reference number, as that is a unique number that you can only use once. Also a departure date, as that is always subject to change based on when you're exporting goods. But then you'll notice in step two, all of my party information is already pre-populated. And this concludes chapter eight. Please advance to chapter nine, where I'll cover AES Direct resources.